I'm giving you little tidbits of the information that will be covered in four weeks to your best life. And I say little tidbits because, you know, this is material that took me forever to study, understand, and utilize in my life and where I knew that it, it was real and I received the results from it. And so I'm going to talk about one of them that may cause you to think a little bit, but because <laughs> you might have a little bit disbelief and then I'll talk about it. All emotional pain is self-inflicted. Really? <laughs> That's what it said. And I'm telling you, hmm, I suffered so much. I had so much emotional pain moving through my life. I thought I'm Thought I'm just a weakling. Maybe that's what's going on. And no, there was something else there. I was clearing out. We all are moving through something that we've been carrying around for a long time. And once we understand it, it gets easier, it becomes easier to accomplish. Um, that statement is not meant to cause you to become defensive. That's what it said. They knew this this thing, they know how we're gonna re respond. All emotional pain is self-inflicted. That statement is not meant to cause you to become defensive, but to use that very concept to further your expansion. It is not reasonable to think that you would move through your physical life journey without the experience of emotional pain. However, when you understand that it occurs because of your thinking, and that is its purpose, is to help you. Wow. Wow. You have to think about that. There was something that I had been given really, really long time ago, even before um, I received this information, and which now it all makes sense. And it said your emotions, all your emotions are valid. They are valid. You're experiencing them for a reason. And the reason is they are meant to lead you somewhere. They are meant to lead you to the beliefs that you hold about yourselves, you see. So when you can allow those emotions to be experienced and understand why they are there, then you become free. Then you become empowered. I developed, when I understood this one, um, I developed a little process, and some of you might have um, known of this. I think I wrote, it's in my book, Overcoming Fear. I developed this process called Sit In It, you see. And that would be those times where I was in horrible emotional pain or fear, whatever it might have been. And then I would try to do something to change it, and they said, no, just sit in it. See, because what would happen is I would sit down and go into like a meditative state or whatever it is. Because there was nothing I could do to change whatever was going on right in that moment. However, it was emotional. That's what you're feeling. It's emotional pain. So I would just sit there in my sit in it technique and just know that it's going to leave at some point. It's just going to it's just going to evaporate. It's just going to leave. And I would sit there as long as it took for that to occur. You may not understand that now, but it's a very valuable um, process because what happens is as you're sitting there, you're understanding that you're doing it to yourself. Whatever it is, you're doing it to yourself. And so when you get tired of that, <laughs> you say, okay, let me change that and let me think differently about this and understand why am I having the emotional pain? It's for a lot of different reasons. There was one time I was um, in a relationship and I was upset. I'm having emotional pain and I sat in it. I go, why am I having this? And then it, it came to me because I felt needy. I felt needy. I need this person to pay attention to me. I need them to understand that I'm here. And that's what was causing my emotional pain, which also told me that I was <laughs> judging myself, that I had not become this empowered person. Otherwise, I wouldn't feel that. When we become empowered, we don't need other things. We don't need other people. We appreciate other people. We will want other people. We want things in the lives in our lives that we know that we want, that we desire. We'll give ourselves permission to have them. But it's very different than feeling like you need someone else to make you feel whole, you see. And so my emotional pain, my experiences of emotional pain led me to that awareness. Again, it didn't happen overnight, but you will understand this as you move through four weeks. If you move through four weeks to your best life, you will understand this. I am saying that because I know that I've put out a lot of information about this. I've talked about it quite a bit. And some people are just going to, 
no, I'm not going to do that. It doesn't seem real. I'm not going to. I did that. I did that for the longest time with everything. And that was my resistance, you see, just showing, I'm not, I'm not going to look at that. I'm not capable. I couldn't possibly do that. Or you'll, you'll do something else, which I did as well. That can't be true. That's too good to be true. It couldn't happen for me. I couldn't do this. I couldn't accomplish that. So you've just created your reality in that moment. But this will change that. 